Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how to connect uh, Mule ESB to uh, uh, Teldus Stick Duo using the Telstick connector that I've developed. So let's first look at my physical setup. So uh, I have my Telstick Duo transceiver here, uh, which is connected to my uh, computer uh, through USB. I have my Nexa uh, plug, which is a power switch with a receiver. Uh, I have my lamp here that is going to show that everything is working. Uh, and then I have a motion detector down there uh, that I'm going to show you how to receive events from uh, devices to your Telstick Duo. So the first thing you need to do, since the connector actually just uh, speaks to the Teldus daemon uh, that comes with the Teldus core software from Teldus. You need to install and configure Teldus D. So that is easily done. You can follow the instructions on the Teldus uh, developer site here. Uh, here's the installation for Ubuntu and Debian. Uh, Linux is currently the only platform where I support the Telstick connector. Uh, mainly because I don't have a development environment in Windows, so I haven't tested it there. So just follow this guide and install and configure your Teldus D. Uh, once you've done that, you will be able to use the TD2 to uh, list. This is the command line interface uh, for the Teldus daemon. You can list your devices and you can turn on using like this and you see that it turns on and we can turn it off. So now I'm going to show you how to do this uh, using Mu. Um, so what we want to do is uh, we want to use this website here where I have a power on link and if I click it it will send the query parameter cmd equals on and if I press power off it will send cmd equals off here. Uh, so this is connected to a uh, new application. So since the Telstick connector is not yet in the uh, in the uh, any point exchange, you will have to uh, get it from GitHub like this. So it's on GitHub, and you clone it and you build it using Maven. Once you Build it using Maven under the target directory. There's an update site.zip that will you need to install into AnyPoint Studio. So let's do that. So we do install new software. Add. We have an archive. We look up the. There we go into temp. We go into Telstick there, and we find update site. Select it. Okay. And there it is. The Telstick connector. So let's install it. Yes, we accept the licensing term here. And just wait for it to install. And since it's not uh, signed, we will have to say OK there. There, and we have to restart AnyPoint Studio as well after installing a new connector. So here we have our flow. Uh, want to see that still? Uh, so we have our, have our flow. We have our HTTP endpoint here where we get our request. And what we need to do is uh, we want to do a choice because we want to look at the. We want to make sure that the, uh, that the CMD command is uh, there. So. If the CMD command is there, we want to send a command to the Telstick. So we look up the Telstick connector here. And we create.
create a connector. So right now you need to assign a connection number. Uh, that connection number is just a dummy value because the endpoint dev kit connectors require us to use a connection key. So that number is just used for the connection key. It isn't actually used uh, in the communication with the Telda stick. Uh, so you can put in any number, but uh, just now we've just put in one there. Uh, so we're going to select an operation. We want to send the command. The command we want to send is the command that we get from the uh, from the query parameters. So we do message inbound properties, uh, HTTP query params, and it's a CMD query parameter. Yeah. We want to send. Uh, we want to send this to the demo switch so we take the name here demo switch so this is the device that we want to send the command to and we want to do this sorry we want to have a logger and the otherwise here or it will not work so uh, we will just do this we will send it to the telestick when there is a CMD query parameter, otherwise we will do nothing. Okay, uh, let's configure that logger as a debug and we do no CMD. Good. So we save it. Let's take up this so we can see what's happening in the real world. Oh yeah, sorry, I need to start the flow. go over here and we press the power on and you can see it uh, turns on the lamp or the device and we press power on and it turns it up again so uh, let's look at the motion detection so we again look up the telestick telestick connector we add it here so that we get it as a inbound connector select our configuration we select that we want to listen for device events we just put this into a logger for now we just put a object to json in front of it so that the logging text a bit nicer so the event is payload like this And go over to the console and it will redeploy and you will see when I wave my hand in front of the motion detection you will see that uh, it turn the telstick do turns blue because it's receiving events so we like this and in the log here we see that we have we get an event from the device ID number five the method here is one which means it de has detected motion and then we get the device a new event with method two when the device detec detector detects that there is no more motion and turns off the motion. Okay, so uh, this is how you can easily add home automation uh, using Mule and uh, Telstick Duo.